Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to see a problem from partial differential equation. So let's get going. Problem form partial differential equation from f of x square plus y square comma z minus x y equal to zero by eliminating the arbitrary function. So we are given a relation f of x square plus y square comma z minus x y equal to zero on an equation, and we are asked to form a partial differential equation by eliminating this f. Okay. Give an equation or a relation f of x square plus y square z minus x y equal to zero. Consider it as equation number one. Now we can write the same equation as if we consider u as x square plus y square and v as z minus x y, then you can consider u equal to g of v or v equal to g of u. I'm taking the first one. Just rewrite it as. Rewrite one as u, that is x square plus y square equal to g of z minus x y. Okay, consider as equation number two. Okay, if u equal to g of v, I mean, if the given equation can be written as u equal to g of v, it looks like this. If you want, you can write the same equation as v equal to g of u. Okay. But g is also a arbitrary function. In this equation, f is arbitrary function. We have rewritten it as u equal to g of v. So here, g is a arbitrary function. Fine. Now, we have x square plus y square equal to g of z minus x y, which is equation two. Now, let's partially differentiate it with respect to x. And also with respect to y. First, I'll partially differentiate it with respect to x. Partially differentiating to with respect to x. Just apply dou by dou x on both sides of two, or you can do directly. Okay. We can skip this step. You think it's avoidable. To have a clear idea about partial differential equation, I'm just writing dou by dou x. Okay, if you want, you can just skip it out. This gives us partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. Since we are partially differentiating with respect to x, so we'll treat y as constant. Here, y square is treated as constant. And partial derivative of g of z minus x y is g dash of z minus x y into inner derivative that is dou by dou x of z minus x y, right? Partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 equal to g dash of z minus x y into Partial derivative of z minus here y is constant, right? So yeah, we can just write as it is now. This gives us 2x equal to g dash of z minus x y into partial derivative of z with respect to x is dou z by dou x, right? Minus here y is constant, so we'll write it as y into dou by dou x of x. Which gives us 2x equal to g dash of z minus x y into partial derivative of z. Since dou z by dou x equal to p, we have a notation, right? Let's replace it by p. We'll get p minus y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1, which gives us 2x equal to g dash of z minus x y into p minus y into 1. Y consider as some equation number three. Now let's partially differentiate two with respect to y. Partially differentiating two with respect to 
y since we are partially differentiating with respect to y so we'll treat x as constant here just apply dou by dou x on both sides sorry dou by dou y on both sides of 2 this gives us right here x square is constant is equals to partial derivative of g of z minus x y with respect to y is g dash of z minus x y into inner derivative that is dou y dou y of z minus x y which gives us partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 plus partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y equal to g dash of z minus x y into partial derivative of first term minus partial derivative of second term. In the second term we have a constant x. Now this gives us 2y equal to g dash of z minus x y into we can write this as dou z by dou x, sorry, dou z by dou y minus constant x into dou by dou y of y. We'll just take the constant outside the derivative. And also we have a notation dou z by dou y equal to q. We'll just replace it by q. This gives us 2y equal to g dash of z minus x y into Replace it by q, you'll get q minus x into partial rate of y with respect to y is 1. Which gives us 2y equal to g dash of z minus x y into q minus x into 1. x, consider as equation number 4. Now observe equation 3 and 4. We have equation 3, 2x equal to g dash of z minus x y into p minus y, right? And equation 4 is 2y equal to g dash of z minus x y into q minus x. If you observe both the equations, we notice that g dash exists in both the equations. So we can eliminate g dash using 3 by 4. LHS of 3 by LHS of 4, RHS of 3 by RHS of 4. Where G dash gets cancelled, 2 gets cancelled and this gives us X by Y equal to P minus Y by Q minus X. Make a cross multiplication to simplify it. X times Q minus X equal to Y times p minus y which gives us qx minus x square equal to py minus y square. Now we'll write all the terms that involves p and q in LHS and the terms that does not involve p and q in the RHS. Okay, We'll just bring this to LHS and take this to RHS. We'll get qx minus py equal to if this yeah you have minus y square minus x square becomes plus x square which uses qx minus py equal to x square minus y square, right? Which is the required partial differential equation. Therefore, qx minus py equal to x square minus y square is a required partial differential equation. which completes the problem. See here we wrote equation 1 as u equal to g of v, right? Now let's see what happens if we consider v equal to some g of u. If we write this as v equal to g of u. I'll show you. I'm not going to explain v equal to g of u now. I'll just solve the problem and I'll show you. See? When we have written the equation, if we want to write the given equation in v equal to g of u time, I mean g of u type, we'll get z minus x y equal to g of 
x square plus y square okay after differentiating with respect to with respect to x you'll get p minus y equal to g dash of x square plus y square into 2x i did directly and by partially differentiating 2 with respect to y you'll get this with the help of 3 by 4 we'll just tell me g dash of x square plus y square which gives us p minus y by q minus x equal to x by y and here we'll make the cross multiplication to simplify it and finally you'll get this the same partial differential equation or you may get py minus qx equal to y square minus x square okay if you want to buy both sides if you multiply both sides with minus you'll get qx minus py equal to x square minus y square also we can solve or find pd using another method using determinant do u by do x do v yeah do u by do y do v by do x do v by do y equal to zero determinant form we'll see this in the next video so this is all for now i hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye